externalities, public goods, info, symmetry, but exclude factor in mobility, you just ignore some of the other policies, right? Just focus on the different causes you're tested on, okay? So if you look at policy solutions to market failure, I should first tell you, part B, how many marks are? Part B is how many marks? A, 15 marks. 15 marks, which has to be 10 marks plus five marks, right? 10 marks plus five marks. So if you look at 10 marks plus five marks, where do you get your 10 marks from? Mm -hmm. The 10 marks come from scoring level three. Okay, Ken? So you score level three, you get 10 marks, five marks, evaluation. Some of you had a take home essay. And I think when I looked at the essay, some of you really didn't score so well for evaluation or practically didn't score for evaluation. So we have to pick up on some skills when it comes to evaluation. Okay. Level three. Do you remember what's the level three criteria for part A? We just mentioned this last week. What is level three criteria if you are doing a part A essay? Yes, content and context. Uh, but we need something else uh, for part B. Content, context, as well as, sorry, balance. Yeah, excellent. Balance. Okay. We need balance for part B. Okay, B, C, C. So balance gives you two sides. Yes. Content. Last week. I say, whenever I give you a topic sentence, you want to blow it up into a paragraph, what do you do? You run it through. D, D, E, E. Still remember these things? Okay. These parameters don't change. These parameters will guide you to your desired grade. Uh, we, all, we all want to work towards A, right? For the promos. Okay. You have to follow these things. Cannot listen to it. Next week, you forgot again. Okay. So, definitions. Diagram explanation examples context uh yesterday i shared with you what is uh, yesterday yeah yesterday as well as last week okay i shared with you what comes under context as well okay so context is maybe two things question specific details Say, if you make use of information from the preamble, that is making use of context, okay? The other way to infuse context is to have topical context. You volunteer additional information. Let's say in DDSS, you give us a sense of what's the PDPS. Last week, I told you, right, DDSS questions, they will tell you the factors that shift demand, shift supply, they probably not tell you what's the PED and PES. You have to conjure up the points yourself. Balance. Balance very simply means two sides. It means your thesis and antithesis. Okay? If you really don't know why it's balanced, you try to do this thing called a butt test. A butt. One T only. Butt test. Okay? You ask yourself, how can I start this paragraph with the word but? Okay, if you cannot, then probably that is not an entity. That is still a continuation of your thesis. Still follow so far? Okay, so let us look at question types. <clears throat> I don't want to talk about evaluation first. Huh? Question types. I can think of a few. Okay, if I want to ask you about policies, Okay, I could ask you to discuss whether policy A is the best, is the most appropriate, <clears throat> is the only, or whether policy A alone, okay, is the only way to tackle a problem. Okay. I could also ask you to discuss whether policy A or policy B 
is more appropriate. I could also ask you to discuss the appropriateness of policy A in tackling a problem. Which one stands out as being different from the rest? Is it the first, the second, or the third? There's one here that doesn't fit in with the rest. Third one. Is the third one. Why? Why is it different? Yes, very good. The third question type has no comparative phrase or no comparative term. These are comparative terms. Okay? In the absence of a comparative term, there's no need to invoke another policy. 